Tim Cray, Expert Power Wash, Vancouver, Washington. I wanted to show you a trailer we just put together for our residential and commercial cleaning. Let's take a look. All right, here's the six by 10 pressure washing trailer. So we'll start off at the front. Got a little storage area, keep extra parts, hose, whatever you want in there. Works pretty well. Got a 65 gallon chemical tank here. It's just a drop stick into the top, uh, mainly used for roof washing. Got it strapped down. Good to have good straps when you're out traveling around, you don't want any of your stuff moving around. So on over to the front here, we have a vise. Super important to have. Um, this will get you out of a pinch real quick if you're out in the field, you gotta change one of your fittings. Just clamp it right in there and get it changed out. So um, what I did here is I just used a, a U-bolt and just mounted it on there because this is a tube trailer. So probably do something as far as putting a welding plate or something on there in the future, but um, it hasn't moved, it stays in place, it seems to work out pretty well. All right, got the Whisper Wash Classic 19 inch, uh, two bar nozzle, thing works awesome. Cut your time down in about half for cleaning any surfaces. So if you don't got a good surface cleaner, go out and get one, important to have. We've gone over to here, we have a 275 gallon IBC tote. Turn to the side, got the plumbing coming out. You got a little dump valve there. You got too much water, you don't wanna be traveling with a bunch of water. Just super quick, just dump it and go. Uh, plumbing's kind of a, a work in progress. It's working out pretty well. You got a nice little bend here, so it's not really restricting the flow. Um, it's worked out pretty well, so. Go on, go on over to here. It's plumbed into a banjo filter. You don't want anything getting into your pressure washer. And then from there, it just runs into pressure washer. You got a one inch connector on the outside of the pump. Got a remote gas tank. Just got it strapped down with some eye hooks. Uh, seems to work out pretty well. Might change that later on, but if I want to take this thing on and off the trailer, it's just uh, pull the strap out and hook it. It's good to go. All right, let's talk about the pressure washer. It's a GX690 Pressure Pro. Eight gallons a minute, 3,500 PSI, belt driven. This thing is a beast. Just kind of walk you around there. Um, it is a uh, key start, so you don't, there's no strings to pull or anything like that. It makes it super easy. So if I can get down in there and show you guys that. Yeah, we got the key. We got the general pump there. And of course, I just got the battery box just mounted right over there towards the back of the trailer. All right, going to the back of the trailer here. All utility trailers, most of them come with this big old gate. Um, Got mixed feelings about the gate, may, may take it off. Takes up a lot more room to put it down when you're out on a job and a little less convenient, but I'll deal with that in the future. It seems to be working out pretty well for right now. Gone over here to the back. Got an extra gas can back there. Got a five gallon bucket. Coming over to the side here, we got a Titan hose reel. Got the first 50 feet, half inch there. And then got 100 feet of the Rex Flex, 3 8 uh, Got all this stuff from Pressure Washer Products in Florida. Check them out online. Get a hold of Lori, she'll get you hooked up. Over here, it's just connected to the swivel. Got a super swivel there. And then got the 20% downstream injector. Got that all plumbed in there with the quick connects. And then it just runs off to the side. And then this right here it was set up for a smaller job we just did. You just take this uh, drop stick, just drop it right into the five gallon bucket. Got a piece of PVC here, it kind of holds it down in the bucket. So it doesn't float to the top. Then when you're done, you just pop it back there wherever you want to put it. And then uh, at the end of this uh, high pressure hose, we got a ball valve here. Uh, this thing's been really handy if you want to switch between like your guns or surface cleaners, anything like that. Just uh, turn it off, unhook, and then plug in your gun or your surface cleaner. This thing has been really, really handy. So if you don't have one of these on the end of your pressure hose, get one. All right. So moving on over, 
Oh, we got the eliminator there. This stuff is a fantastic surfactant. Got it from Pressure Tech. So PressureTech.com. Get a hold of Bob over there. Um, this actually came in a sample pack. I was using some other stuff before, but I'm going to go ahead and probably order five gallons of this stuff. Uh, we'll just move that off to the side there. You guys are probably all wondering what's in this big black box, right? Well, let's take a look. I actually got this box on clearance for 30 bucks. I don't think I could be more happy with that. So let's take a look in here. I got my uh, house washing down here. Just got the J rod there. Short six inch lancer. It makes it really easy. So you're not hanging on to a big old heavy gun when you're doing house washing. Got all the tips there. Just kind of store that out of the way. And then I got a 12 volt pump. You got uh, the one inch running in to half inch. From what I hear, it's better to double your input. It's gonna build up better pressure and it's gonna be better for your pump. Could be totally wrong on this, but uh, that's the way I did it. It's been working out pretty well. So uh, one thing to point out here, these little things work pretty good. It's just a, a Gilmore sprayer, a uh, little quick connect thing at the end here. Got this from the power wash store, just screws right on the end of your, uh, your Gilmore and you can just plumb it up into the end of your chemical hose for doing roof washing. You can connect your J-Rod to the end of that. So, put your extra little gun in there. We got the blue hose there that runs to the side and runs out. We got a marine battery here, deep cycle. We got it all plumbed into a switch. Got it unhooked right now. Usually don't leave it up, hooked up if uh, we don't have a job or two lined up. So. That'll be going to work next week. So, going to the side here. Of course, you got the Walmart sticker there. 40 bucks. You got it for 30. All right. So, going to the side here, you got the hose running into another Titan reel down here. I'm not super enthused about the way that this is sitting down below the bar. But the hose just kind of comes out and rolls over the top. It works for now. Might change that around in the future, but um, that is CureTech hose. Again, I got that from Pressure Washer Products in Florida. Get a hold of Lori. And then moving on up to the next Titan reel. We have Flexzilla. This hose is amazing. So you guys are running water supply hoses. You don't want kinks. You want it to be flexible. You want it to be durable. Um, get some Flexzilla. This is three quarter. Uh, looked all over online, could not find three quarter anywhere. Finally found it at uh, Southside Equipment. So get a hold of Russ. This is 100 feet, and it's just plumbed into the side here. Got a massive connecting connector, and just connects and then kind of runs alongside the tank. Goes in the top there. Got a Hudson float valve, so it'll turn off when it gets too full. Got some extra cloth here just had to buy some some new ones always good to have some microfiber cloth with you so wipe your hoses down any touch-up wipes around the house you can do that well that's pretty much the trailer guys uh if you have any questions i know there's probably people out there that would do it different or hey change this or that's not set up correctly but this this rig works out pretty well so this is our mainly residential um, also it's it does commercial work too so all right. Talk to you guys soon.